New York is headed toward a dangerous crash, and the train of chaos is moving really fast. With a population of over 8 million citizens, New York has constantly retained the title of the most visited city in the world. People love this fantastic city. Many are struggling to have a slice of the Big Apple. Today, you'll see how this once shining city no longer holds much as allure as it did. Increasing crime rates, shoplifting, the migrant crisis, and the high cost of living are only some of the reasons. Let's visit the city together. New York City is the most populous state in the United States, with astounding attractions like culture, entertainment, technology, education, and arts. To mention a few, it is easy to see why this city is almost at full capacity with people. Being described as the capital of the world doesn't sound like a joke, does it? Obviously not. Foreign investors feel safe doing their business here and they are thriving. With all these positive remarks about New York, you can't see where the problem is, right? You'll learn what it is in a moment. Some things definitely are making the juicy apple slap like an unripe lime. First, we take a look at the migrant crisis in relation to New York's economic downfall. The migrant crisis, because nothing says welcome to the Big Apple like turning hotels into immigrant dorms. It's like a game of Tetris, but instead of blocks, it's people trying to find a place to sleep. And hey, who needs jobs when you can allocate $12 billion to play host. Maybe they should have invested in a Welcome to New York brochure instead. The influx of migrants doesn't seem to have any end and it is getting citizens really concerned. First, New York is obligated to give shelter to those who seek it. Oh, many people are seeking. It's a law that has been crying for some adjustments for some time now, but many citizens of New York aren't doing great. What made the government think they can care more for migrants more than its citizens? Shelter homes are overstretched and hotels are being converted to house more immigrants. These immigrants are fed using taxpayers' money. About $12 billion was allocated for taking care of immigrants this year. If this problem drags out, many fear that it could destroy New York City. Increased crime rates can also be traced to this and residents are forced to spend more on security measures to protect their homes and families. Not only do residents struggle to stay afloat among the high cost of living paying for migrants' shelter and feeding, they worry about their safety making it all the more saddening. Talk about a terrible blend of unfortunate situations you wouldn't want to be in one yourself. There's more. Remember how New York is among the top favorite cities to live in? Right. It's also one of the most expensive places. The cost of living in New York is 121% higher than the national average. Easy to see why. There are a lot of job opportunities in the city. Top companies have headquarters and branches here and they pay well. They do. But here's something puzzling. This is New York, where the cost of living is so high, even the pigeons have side hustles. It's like a magic trick where more jobs appear, but your paycheck disappears faster than a hot dog at a Yankees game. New York City Mayor Eric Adams, while stating the budget for 2024, has expressed concerns about the low economic growth despite spikes in jobs and tourism. Food is so expensive -y. gas, housing, and almost anything you can think of cost double the amount practically anywhere else. You know something funny? There are as much people who don't mind the high cost of living, even as there are many who are ready to leave. Well, as one would imagine, local businesses are having a tough time battling with the high cost of living. They deal with rent, labor costs, and taxes. Ooh, goodness, the taxes. The city has some of the highest property taxes in the country, and businesses also have to pay a range of other taxes and fees, income tax and various other fees. With property taxes higher than skyscrapers and businesses drowning in fees, it's a wonder anyone can afford a cup of coffee, let alone run a successful business. Looking at the housing problem New York is currently battling, the city's growing population is not helping the situation as the demand for housing is increasing at a pace that's too much for the housing estate to meet. And don't even think about affordable housing. It's like finding a unicorn in Central Park, rare and probably imaginary. Many New Yorkers take shelter in overcrowded shelter homes and others sleep on the sidewalk. Gentrification is playing a huge role in exacerbating the high cost of living challenge. When next you hear some old folks kicking against some development project, you know why. Development is good, everyone knows this, but it comes with sacrifices that many are not prepared for. Look at this. As more development occurs in less developed areas, wealthy people move in. They've got money to spend and are astounded by the cheap prices they meet. They are perfectly okay with it. But what happens to the father who goes out to buy a loaf of bread only to find out the price has been doubled? The high cost of goods has resulted in high number of shopliftings in different areas in New York. Over the last year, there has been a 64% increase in thefts business owners are having a hard time managing this situation and some are closing. Store owners have lost millions to shoplifters. Target has begun moving some of its stores out of New York over concerns of the safety of its team and guests being threatened. 
And guess what? Transportation costs are yet another cause of New York City's steady decline. The city's transport system is expensive. A single subway or bus ride in New York City costs $2.90, and a monthly unlimited MetroCard costs $127. Those who can afford their own cars aren't finding it easy as well. First, you work hard to buy a car, and when you eventually do, you can't find a place to park it. The cost of parking is high, and car insurance rates in the city are not smiling at anyone. Now, this is because of the high crime rate in the city, the risk of theft, accidents, and other factors. These can be discouraging, and it causes people to look for other alternative ways of transportation. Another contributing factor to New York's fall is the lack of affordable quality education. Want a degree in New York? Prepare to mortgage your soul. With tuition fees that could fund a space mission, it's no wonder only 20.4% of New Yorkers have a high school diploma. Many of these parents barely have enough money to hold the family together, but seeing how important education is, they go the extra mile to see their kids getting the best of education or close enough. We're talking about paying $50,000 a year for tuition. The city has some of the world's top universities. Sadly, it is out of reach for many citizens as it costs a lot to school there. As a result, the number of people with a degree is fewer than what one would expect from a place with lots of universities. That's why a recent report found that Americans have $88 billion in medical debt. And here are more reasons why New York needs a miracle. Healthcare has become a luxury for a good number of New Yorkers. About 40% of New Yorkers say they or a family member are sacrificing healthcare due to the costs. With magnificent structures of healthcare facilities with well-trained medical personnel and state-of-the-art facilities, it's heartbreaking that one has to choose between paying for treatment or food. Without health insurance, there's not much a person can do on their own. Even with health insurance, people find it hard to cope with medical bills. Imagine those without. While most of New York's economic catastrophe is traceable to man-made sources, forces beyond the city's control have a role to play as well. New York has different weather conditions spread throughout the year. During the winter, citizens spend more money on heat and cooling, while in the cold periods, they spend more on heating costs. And finally, New York's economic catastrophe can be traced back to the COVID-19 pandemic. This is where the downfall became unavoidably noticeable. The pandemic wreaked havocs on every country, and New York City felt its impact deeply. The pandemic caused a fall in business and personal income tax revenue. Thousands of jobs lost. 88% of jobs were lost during this period. Even though things are picking up and more jobs are being created, the pandemic caused some difficult changes to several families and getting back on their feet has been a painful journey. Given the troubles New York grapples with, citizens love and remain faithful to their beloved city. The resilient spirit of New Yorkers is admirable and they can come out of this unscathed with proper policies and plans. More affordable housing should be built for a start. Local businesses should be given extra help and proper plans should be put in place for migrants as they come in to make them less dependent on the city's help. Then maybe, just maybe, New York can be saved.